Welcome to the week ahead, bringing you key developments likely to impact Sri Lanka this week. Headlines Resolution to constitute a National Council Committee to be taken up. Ali Sabri in New York to address reconciliation and accountability matters in the country. President Ranil Wickremesinghe in the United Kingdom to attend the Queen's funeral. Express Pearl Marine disaster compensation for 15,000 fishermen. On Monday, a resolution to constitute a National Council Committee will be taken up in Parliament. The Council's main mandate is to determine the general priorities of the Parliament in guiding the formulation of national policies and agree on short- and medium-term common minimum programmes to stabilise the economy. The Council will include, among others, the Speaker, the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition. On Saturday, Ali Sabri, Minister of Foreign Affairs, will address the United Nations General Assembly in New York. He will outline steps Sri Lanka has taken as well as intends to take in addressing reconciliation and accountability in the country. Meanwhile, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman, US Senator Bob Menendez, is calling for the UN Human Rights Council to extend its War Crimes Accountability Resolution, urging Sri Lankan security forces to respect Sri Lankan's right to protest peacefully and pressing the President to work with others to address the crisis. President Ronil Wickremesinghe is in the United Kingdom to attend the funeral of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Mr Wickremesinghe will participate in the funeral to be held at Westminster Hall in London on Monday. Monday has been declared a day of mourning in Sri Lanka with state institutions and schools being granted leave. From this week, Sri Lanka will start distributing 2.5 million US dollars in insurance payments to fishermen. This is on account of the impacts caused by the sinking of the Express Pearl cargo vessel off the country's western coast in May of last year. According to the Department of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, 15,032 fishermen in the three districts of Colombo, Gampaha and Kaluthura will receive compensation. The latest payment brings the total paid by the ship's insurer to 7.85 million. And that's a wrap for this week. Join us next time for more key developments as we keep you informed of the week ahead.